Hey guys, I'm Rosa Vane, and welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Where we last left off was we basically, uh, we're still doing the Fate of Atlantis DLC, I believe. And so we're talking to Alethea for like the final time, I think, or, like the third time, I guess, uh, for one of the, for one of the Fate of Atlantis stuff. So we're kind of building our way into it, I think. Sorry, I'm just looking out. Keeper, the heir of memories must search these old halls for the symbol she seeks. Will the heir rise to the task? Sure. I suppose she would. No? Every step brings you down a very long road to the heir. What you cannot show her, Vimos will. Vimos? Wait, what? How? The heir will know when the time comes. Altair 2? I've... Or Cassandra has found the next location. Great <laughs> work. Where to? The tomb of Ateocles. I think I found a way in. Okay. Honestly, I wasn't. Uh, honestly, that was like the last of the th of the three uh, tombs we need to go to at the very least. But the Amos, why the Amos? I don't. I'm I'm confused why the Amos is involved here at this point. Altair two, can you read me? We hear you, Layla. There's something you need to know. Hmm. The interference in the comms is coming from an outside source. Oh. If I didn't know any better, I'd say someone was listening in. Oh. It must be related to the staff. That's just it. I recognize the interference pattern. It is an Isu. It almost reminds me of an Erudito hacking algorithm. I'd recognize a hack if I saw one. Besides, once I find the third symbol, it won't matter. If only I knew which order they go in. <laughs> you could try randomly guessing. There's not that many combinations. Yeah, it's just three, so... <clears throat> There's like three symbols, so if it's three symbols, it would be... A combination of six of them, I think. Like six different combinations. There's no guarantee I get two chances at opening the seal. After this, we're going back to Atlantis, and I'll figure something out. Okay. I mean, I have no choice but to follow follow suit for whatever it is. Also, they didn't res they apparently reset the uh, the jugs and jars and stuff like that because the game does it <laughs> when I walk away from, like, if I reboot the game after a long. So well preserved. Time. It looks like the organic matter, the paint, the wood, none of it has aged a day. The chemical composition of the air might act as a natural form of preservation. There are tombs all over the world where corpses still have hair and nails intact, even millennia after burial. Let's talk about corpses after I'm out of here. <laughs> Incredible. These statues are in perfect we are condition. The final symbol. Those who paid homage here, the keeper did so doesn't know the lives. order of the symbols, her brother will. Uh, I see the symbol on the table, I think. There we go. The final symbol! Another part of a constellation. They must fit together. Altar 2, can you read me? Okay, Layla, think this through. Outside the tomb of Ateocles, Alethea said Deimos would show me what the Keeper can't. Athea said answers Theras didn't and was killed for it. The air is wise. Altar 2, come in, please. Layla, that you? Did you find the symbol? Three for three. We need to head back to Atlantis. In the meantime, let's run the symbols I found against known constellations. Consider the research plan B. What's plan A? Cassandra knew where the symbols were, but not the order they go in. Alethea thinks Deimos may hold that secret. We have his DNA. What? Layla, are you crazy? I'm not crazy. <laughs> I'm committed, and you should be too. When I get back to Atlantis, I'm getting this done whether you are my side or not. Oh, okay. Damn, dude. <laughs> so we're basically gonna go into Deimos' blood, uh, sort of, like, experience as well, isn't it? Just because it takes both siblings to kind of, like, do the thing. But what happens if Deimos died? Now I'm curious about that. Like, what would the main game influence how the fate of Atlantis works, I guess? Or would it take place before he joined, uh, before he got, uh, hit by the ending that we did? I wonder. We'll see. I mean, I have no clue what the hell to expect here, at the very least. I mean, otherwise, it's, like, very interesting that we're using both siblings to kind of, like, get to wherever we need to get to <laughs> with this Atlantis thing. But, holy heck, dude. It's so weird and random that the Amos is getting involved for once now. Which he should have gotten involved in the previous DLC no, no, like expansion. Oh, it's this guy. Oh, Deimos killed him. 
All that time, Deimos was the one who killed him? I didn't know that. Are you Bri's son? No. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Well, we have to do it. I don't know why we had to. <laughs> I don't know why it. Why? Why did it reset on me? <laughs> Are you Bri's son? What happens if I? Oh, I see. I can't. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I see. I had to. I had to do something at least, but I didn't get to read the options very well. I'm Diemos, is what I think I want to say. I'm Are not sure yet. Brisson? So sad, I'm seeing him get beat up. The symbols. Talk. Itira. Korgath. Metin. What does that mean? Itira. Korgath. Metin. Alright. Let's do this the hard way. Jeez. Your heart rate's accelerated and your body temp is almost 98 degrees. What's happening? Is it 98 normal though? 98 degrees. Itira, Korgath, Metin. That's all I know. You have to believe me. I see. I can't. I don't want to do this. And then he's gonna make me go. That. Oh God. No. Okay. Okay. I get the point. Korgath, Metin. That's okay. all I know. You have to believe me. I just don't get why we're playing as Deimos killing him, though. That's the weird part. I'm not here to hurt you, Phidias. <sighs> we're friends. <sighs> I just want to know where these symbols come from. Okay, so there is an option you where I don't hurt him. You friend, wouldn't you? Tira. Gorgath, Metin! Are you trying to anger your friend? I don't think he, I don't think Deimos know what the hell he's saying anymore. Oh, I see. So You know, we kind of got the clue already. I don't get it. Me what I want to know. Wait, what? Uh, now we're just playing as her, uh, playing as Layla for a little Itira. bit. He's dead already. Layla, we're remote ending your session. Yes, please. Thank God, finally. I don't get to see it. But holy hell, so basically Layla loses herself into uh, Deimos' madness, and now Deimos is sort of like DNA, I guess, or the little speck of whatever he is, is bleeding into her like normal mental process, I guess. That's probably what's happening there, I think. But I also don't get why we need to do this kind of no, I guess. Gorgath, Medi. Layla? Come in. Vic, you had no right. I had to pull you out. Diving into Themos' mind almost killed you. The interloper. He is listening. He? Sigma, I'm opening fire. Oh? Don't fall back. Kiyoshi's been hit. Altair 2, come in. Altair 2. Vic. Anyone. Can you hear me? That's so, like... That is so convenient that they have to disappear because of the fact that the Templars are attacking them. But at the same time, yeah, I don't I don't really feel right with the fact that they chose to do that. Like, I just feel like they did that. And then it's like, I don't know, like, I, I do think that the rewind system was ridiculous. Like, why am I doing that? Like, why am I choosing? Well, I don't even have a choice, actually, to begin with, to, like, leave that whole part. But at the same time, I get, I get the, I understand the story point. I understand that, but I hate the fact that it choose, it choice, it, it makes the player choose how to beat up. Uh, I forgot his name already, 
but like choose to beat up the guy and it's like we're seeing how he dies in a sense and we're also we already had our answer we could have just left right off the bat once we heard the first three words on after the first stabbing yeah i don't know why layla chose to say hey i want to do more damage like we could have just ended that process there i just don't think that anybody would just stay for that long um considering that you know you already got your answer you're like your first three words were the only words you need to know like i don't get how you would mind why would you not keep that in mind that those things are those things already like you already got your answer what why we want to keep going with it this makes no sense especially when she can't even think straight from the that. great seal has waited long enough sure i'm i can't i've seen inside deimos's mind i i can't contact the team the animus isn't safe the trials of the air are just beginning what the heck <laughs> this shows up out of nowhere Really? Why am I given a choice here? It doesn't seem pl it doesn't seem to make sense if you just give a choice here and then not. You're right. I can do this. Yours is a role of strength and resilience. Now the air must call the name of the first symbol. Itira. This symbol was the first I found, and the first name Sebafidias was Itira. The air recalls. She heard the names of the symbols and their order. Now. Call out the name of the second. It was K, something with a K. Korgath, yeah. It was this symbol, and the second name Sebafithias was Korgath. The air doesn't just experience memories, but holds them inside her. And now, the final symbol. It's with an M, I believe? Metin? I remember! Fithias somehow unlocked the order of the symbols, even if he didn't realize it. It was Itira, Korgath, Metin. I don't Can you get hear it, us? but Six, okay. You're alive! Sigma Force soldiers stormed the ship. Kyoshi was shot, but I stopped the bleeding. He saved us. Uh huh. It isn't the staff. Someone is intentionally remote hacking our signal. I encrypted a new frequency for us, just to be sure. We need to go dark until we know it's safe. Before we go, how are you? It's good to hear your voices. Listen, I've unlocked the Great Seal. Atlantis is open. Yeah. Please, don't go in until we know we can keep a secure connection. I want this as much as you do. I'm sorry. But we need to do it together. I can't I'm wait. hearing you, Doctor. <laughs> this has waited this long. It can wait a little longer. Until then, while I'm down here, I'm safe. Call me when Kyoshi's back on his feet. He'll be glad to hear your voice. Until then, Altair 2 is going dark. Oh, maybe we're going back to the Animus, and then with Cassandra, we can actually go into the, the gate or whatever that thing we opened up in as uh, Layla. Which I'm assuming is what's happening, because I have a feeling that's what's going on with that particular portion. Oh, no, never mind. We're just passing over time for now. Okay. Anybody there? Victoria? Layla? Oh, nice timing. Looks like I've been able to establish a secure connection with polymorphic code. Hacker free. It's good to have you back. How's Kyoshi? You know him, resilient as ever. He wouldn't want you worrying. Eh. Sigma team. I can't believe those bastards found the Altair too. Turns out our signal was being corrupted by the Juhani Otzoberg himself. Guess he was bored of playing Black Cross and tracking down the Juno cult. Oh. I should have known some desperate hacker from Erudito would flip on us. Their fingerprints are all over this. No way! Otso heard everything? If he tells the rest of the Templar Inner Sanctum what we're up to, we'll have every armed Absurgo goon on the planet after us. True. If Berg hasn't found you yet, we're still a step ahead. Eh. Then as long as I got you as backup, what are we waiting for? Let's see what this great seal is all about. Where's Victoria? You'll see. You'll see. All right then. Here we go. I have a bad feeling that Victoria is probably out. But she's the one betraying us, probably. That's my sinking suspicion this because she's betraying is us. Huge, echo. These look like thrones of royalty, but who are the kings and queens? I think that Victoria might be betraying us because of the fact that you know, like she was worried. Like I feel like she she went to Absurgo because she's worried that Layla's gonna die, 
losing a lot of her men- her mental and physical like strength, and so she thinks that it would be best that Templar takes over takes over Layla and like operate and the whole operation itself. But I don't know. Maybe that might be false. But hopefully that's not true. But I mean, it isn't the first time because we lost literally. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Even though it's so weird, it's beautiful but weird because it's like out of the ordinary, I guess. But it's like kind of like a temple almost, temple-like area. Yeah, but anyways, I don't know. It's a lot of this f suspicion from my side of everything going on so far. Oh, a hello, Tira. Uh, Alpha. We finally found each other. I guess rebels always find a way. It's nice to meet you in the flesh, Alethea. Or in the hologram? It was only a matter of time until our realities crossed in one way or another. Hmm? Huh? It seems as though we're not alone. Uh... Victoria? Victoria? Knew it. What are you doing down here? Layla. It was way too dangerous to let you do this alone. <laughs> I knew it. I wanted to keep an eye on things personally. Who's this? Somebody this you should not know. Alethea, the voice from the staff I was talking about. Of the Isu, Victoria. <laughs> Can you believe it? I've had nothing but time to study the patterns of human speech, so I should sound less like a talking stick. Makes sense. Are you sure we can trust her? Are you sure I can trust you, Victoria? <laughs> I feel like she's actually an Abstergo agent in the sky. I mean... Okay. I've played too many Assassin's Creed games to know who I can trust and who I can't trust. The people who I can trust are the ones who are always grouped up in a weird, weird way. When it comes to Assassin's Creed, when, you, when the Assassins are a good guy, they, can, they are mostly with people. Multiple people. But when they're doing it alone, a lot of the times it's suspicious. Lucy was the exception. Uh, the one from Assassin's Creed with Desmond Miles. Like, that was an exception because Juno had a, succinct, uh, like a suspicious feeling about it. Well, I don't know if Alethea would probably see through Victoria's bullcrap as well. So she probably does the same thing here. But she's not going to control us. Or, but she will probably most likely manipulate us <laughs> to believe that. But anyways. Don't worry. She's a friend. She wants to help us with the staff. It was always known to me that the heir of memories would embark alongside the Keeper, Cassandra. You weren't in the plans. Can I trust you? Of course you can. I'm her doctor, and I need to be here to keep an eye on Layla's vitals. She'll keep out of the way. No matter. <laughs> this journey is yours and Cassandra's. You'll need to build up the strength to withstand the staff's corruption. How big is the strength that I need? Damn, dude. I feel like Victoria would have been scared. Cassandra finds though. power to fuel both her and the staff. You too will feel that physical connection. Understood. So you want Layla to go in there? I don't think so. Who knows what exposure to even more first civ tech will do? Not me, Victoria. I'll go into the Animus and experience it as Cassandra. Right, Alethea? Your journey starts at the same place the Keepers did. The Animus will show you her way through the simulations. Uh -huh. If you're sure, Layla, we'll have to be extra careful. I'll be here to monitor you with... her. Are you ready? Yep. I got nothing better to do here anyways. As ready as I'll ever be. Wish me bon chance. Bon chance. What does Bon Chance mean? Is that French or something? <laughs> oh god, why is it... Why is it... Like, it looks like it's corrupted for some reason. We're, like, messing around, I guess. Oh, there's Cassandra. Why is she offering blood? It doesn't take blood, does it? The Keeper shares blood with those who came before and is connected to the issue. Oh, okay. That's... Super strange, but okay. The blood that is shared must also be offered, and the great seal will open for us. If you say so. Welcome, Keeper. 
You've entered the great throne room of Atlantis. What lies in this room are remnants of Isutech I've adapted in order for you to begin your journey. I'm sure you have questions. Uh, probably lots. You told me this room was meant for the Heir of Memories. <laughs> but I got in so easily. You paid for it in blood. Blood that looks quite like ours when you look closely enough. Mm. Mater always told me there was power in our blood. I guess she was right. This place... Did Pythagoras know it existed? I don't think no, so. No, I wouldn't show it to him. This room was built by the Isu to house something else. These thrones were once just thrones. Now they contain my simulations. Don't worry, I'll show you. Okay. So we're going into another simulation within, cause, within a simulation. <laughs> okay. There is more I have to do. Always, Keeper. When the staff belonged to Pythagoras, he used it selfishly for knowledge. He was weak where you aren't. You oh. will endure lifetimes until the heir of memories takes this burden. The only way to carry the staff's weight is to find the strength to wield it. You'll find that strength in Elysium. The underworld awaits, Keeper. Wait, what? The... What? <laughs> I'm alive. If I'm alive, how can I come back from the underworld? These portals are simulations. They were made by me for you. In well, Elysium, you'll find power sources known as Keeper's Insights. This will affect both the Keeper and the Heir of Memories. Moving forward in the underworld will be essential to finding all the sources of power. You're asking for blind trust, Alithia. You pledged <laughs> yourself to me and our common cause, Keeper. Never forget that I'm on your side. I won't let the ones that came before control your fate. Find the strength within you and show the staff your worth. Approach the first portal when you're ready. Interesting. So... Yeah, I want to keep track of that. So basically, uh, we're going to be going into a simulation within a simulation here. But at the same time, it's interesting because it's like... Juno did want control over Desmond, but in order to... It, so, like, when she... She wanted control over Desmond, and when she got control over Desmond, it caused Desmond to become sort of, like, lost within who he was, I think. And that also caused the fact that he had to sacrifice himself to make sure that the world was safe as well. Which is kind of interesting to see that this one... Alethea is like trying to say we don't I don't want control but I want to help you even though like I don't want control for you I don't want to control I have you to trust her. like Juno did like it, it it made sense that there would be some kind of person who would be on the other side of the spectrum of like rather than controlling themselves just let us kind of do it ourselves I guess anyways let's go oh I, I thought it was just <laughs> oh that's a shame I had to interact really ugh I just want to go in. I mean, you have so much time to just head back out if you feel like it, you know? <laughs> if you don't feel confident about heading into this portal. But Elysium. Interesting. Uh, Elysium was the paradise where heroes on whom the gods conferred immortality to, I guess. I know Elysium from Hades, the game Hades, made by Supergiant. I played Hades a lot, so uh, I already finished the game and got all the achievement and stuff. But the point is, Hades was... Uh, a good point for me to like kind of know some certain terminologies I probably have not thought of a, a thought of or heard of in a while so it was a good game to kind of get me to know Greek mythology a little bit oh geez Arithia needs to work on that landing <laughs> landing what landing oh Aww, the dog. Where are you running to, doggy? All the soldiers. Human soldiers? Is this Athena? It looks like an Athena, but... You don't belong here. Oh, Persephone. Oh dear. 
Okay, well, it seems like we're gonna be fighting at Persephone as the villain oh, here. Oh, shit! <laughs> okay, adrenaline effects. Enemies, enemy Isu's soldiers perform special effects, attacks that can freeze or drain the adrenaline that you've accumulated. Really? Oh, that's pretty darn sad. Oh, God. What was that? Oh, he... Ikaros is in here with me? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, jeez. Okay, I see. This is so weird because... Oh, I see. So the lightning thing is made by those soldiers rather than... Ah! Mm. Where are you going? There we go. There we go. Cool. That took a little bit of time. Ubisoft presents. Oh god, really? Not this title cards again. It's not necessary. <laughs> Episode 1, Fate of Atlantis, Fields of Elysium. This is not necessary, I feel like. But this landscape is unique and beautiful as well, as as it was with the previous, uh, with the main game stuff, I mean, not the previous stuff. All right, well, I guess we're introduced to the fate of Atlantis, finally. No one stands up to Persephone's guards, let alone best them in battle. Hermes. Tell me your name, or you're next. Oh, God, he's taller than her. <laughs> ah, I'm Hermes. As you're holding my proudest creation. Oh. That means you're a descendant of Pythagoras. I know just why you're here. You need to harness its power. Now, your name. The staff calls me Keeper, but you can call me Cassandra. What is this place? Keeper, a great name with a great journey ahead of you. This is the paradise of Elysium, presided over by the mighty Persephone herself. Elysium was a gift from her husband, Hades. Oh. This beautiful realm she crafted in her image is the only joy she gets from the underworld. She's his prisoner. But, she's coming to her role as queen with much aplomb. Elysium. Resting place of heroes. When I was a girl, I'd dream of seeing it with my own eyes. Then why would Persephone attack me? Most don't rulers here. don't take the sudden invasion of a lone outsider lightly. Speaking of which, the appearance of a living human is quite unexpected. <laughs> I'm supposed to go through trials and eventually leave this place. There was a great seal, and the staff talks... It's all very complicated. <laughs> Allow me to explain. The staff is a gift, not a toy. It can be a key, a weapon, and a way to attain power until the very end of time. Here, you'll find the means to control it before it controls you. After that, there is a gate that leads out of Elysium, but the only way to it is through Persephone, ah. and she'd never allow that. I need to get to that gate. Try talking to her. Who knows? Maybe she'll convince you to stay. Or you could find Nekati, Persephone's top advisor and closest friend. Or you could prove yourself. So you Prove myself how? Persephone sent guards because she's concerned. There are reports of lawlessness in Death Kalyon's heritage south of here. <laughs> Why am I telling you all this? You said it yourself. It's very complicated. Elysia may look like paradise, but we all have our secrets. Don't tell me you have secrets too, Hermes. But also, yeah, Persephone was uh, is the wife of the wife lover of Hades, I believe. Um, and I know that because that's, again, from Hades related matter. Like, honestly, every character that you know about, uh, in the Greek mythology, Hades at least covered at least some semblance of it. I'm wondering if we'll meet some of the known heroes, like Achilles or, uh, oh, maybe we can meet, uh, our grandfather. <laughs> that would be fantastic to meet the grandfather. Uh, what's it gonna call it? <sighs> what's the guy's name? The grandfather's name? I don't remember. Anyways, uh... Tell me about yourself. Me? Well, uh, I've never had anyone ask about me before. Low. I work west of here. It's a modest workshop. 
But all great things appear modest at first, don't they? I guess. Maybe I should investigate the Kaleon's heritage. Persephone responds best to action. We need to smother them immediately if there's a whiff of trouble against her. Mm. I'm wondering if we can get back to our items though. I also realize because I don't know because we don't have our boat here, so I'm just wondering how you're gonna get back to your inventory stuff that you kept restocked. I could talk to Ekati. You could, though she prefers to keep to herself. The dwellers of Ferea's retreat, which is to the east, might know of her whereabouts. I'd ask them. Okay. I'm thinking I go straight to Persephone. Not so fast. Give her some time to cool down. When you introduce yourself, you'll find her in her majestic Acropolis, perched high above the Asphodel fields. Okay, so basically the, the Acropolis is kind of like the centerpiece of the whole uh, location of this map, I guess. What can you tell me about my staff? I need to learn how to use it. Find my energy sources, the perceptions of Hermes, across Elysium to imbue both you and the staff with power. Only then are you ready to move onward. You can't wield the staff without them. Got it. Are you certain there's nothing else you'd like to know? Uh, I think I got everything. But let me give myself a quick second. I'll be right back, and uh, it'll be probably a very quick cut, maybe? Actually, no, you know what? I'm going to try to get through this. But before we do, uh, or as we do, I wanted to say this because I want to end the episode immediately because I want to, like, it, we're at the tail end of the episode anyway. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys in the next episode of your minds. Hope you guys have a great, amazing day, weekend, night, or morning for watching this. Uh, after this conversation, I'm going to immediately just close it off for the episode uh, because we're already over time anyways. Get it. When you've sorted your affairs with Persephone, come see me in Minos's faith. I look forward to hearing about your progress. I will. I almost forgot. I've invented just a thing for you flightless humans in Elysium. The wings of Erbis. Go, enjoy them. Wait, we can fly in the game? <laughs> uh, if we can, I would be surprised. All right, so that's, that's that. Welcome to Elysium. Complete. Oh god, that's a lot of EXP. That is a lot of EXP. 100,000 EXP is a lot to freaking go by. Alright, well, check out the whole UI and everything in the next episode. So, other than that, Roz, out.